What's up, people? Welcome back to the channel. Okay, I got another video of five cards that can come off the ban list. Very much appreciative to all the people who have, you know, the, um, I, there wasn't like a whole bunch of people, but I am appreciative of all the people who did leave comments and their opinions on the, you know, on the things that I said. A lot of people were very much saying that Kieran cannot come back, to be honest, like everyone has their own opinion. Another thing that I want to clear up about that video, every single card in that video was from the, you know, what was was from the, you know, from the ban, you know, the ban section, the ban list, and I am assuming, on oh, assuming, I, I, I am trying to say all those cards could come back to one. I, I'm not saying that we could get, you know, Dragon Wars to three, Kieran to three, no, 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 no. I'm very much talking about they they could go from unbanned to one and that's going to be the same with the first two cards talk about the first two cards in, in, you know in this part two list is, are going to be banned cards and then the the last the, the um, i'm pretty sure the last three are at one so with like i said without like, like without further ado i want to get into it and i also want to mention that if you like the content here please feel, you know feel free to like and subscribe it's not it's all good and you know without the way let's get into it first card i want to talk about is ronin totem I very much feel Ronin Toten had to die for the sins of Sprite, and to be honest, Sprite was not even the best deck. I, right now, feel comfortable saying that. I was not comfortable saying that back when Sprite first came out. I guess a little, a little bit of like insight into like you know into me. I very much like stopped playing meta. Be, like like around maybe like three years ago i, I want to say like around, around three years well like i want to say i stopped playing meta but i very much slowed down playing meta like i played border stun for maybe like two years straight and then i probably spent another like you know like you know spent a while playing you know a lot of like rogues you know rogue strategies after that and it wasn't until sprite sprite was like the first deck where i was like okay i really need to like get this stuff because like before sprite the only like the only like um like like, like, like tier one deck like you know meta deck that i played was tri brigade and that's only because i got tri brigade before like but like, before it even became like really good before like you know the whole Samorg you know package was thrown in and before kit and everything like i very much had that engine because i wanted to play with the zodiac so like so like you know if it wasn't for that i, I wouldn't even play tri brigade and like like I said, and before that, I was playing, you know, Unchained and Border Stun. Sprite was a deck that just tore me out of that mentality, and I was like, look, I am all in on meta. Like, I thought Sprite was going to be tier zero. I, I, I pretty much, is like, so I don't, so I, go, so I don't go on a rant. I assumed Sprite was going to be how tier elements are right now. I thought, you know, tier, tier elements was going to be the second best deck. Sprite was going to be the best. It, you know, it locks you out. It doesn't let you get this, and you can do that protection. I was, I, I don't want to say I was wrong, because they, they, they hit it harder than tier elements, and that's why I feel tier elements, okay, well, obviously the Ishizu cards have a lot to do with it, but also the fact that they didn't, they, they hit Sprite so hard, it didn't even really give Sprite a chance to have a fair fight against tier elements, but, you know, like, you know, like, after they got the um, Ishizu cards, but I very much feel that Rototen had to die Oh, I shouldn't say die, but Rotor had to go away for the sins of Sprite, but Sprite wasn't even the deck to really fear. So to be honest, like just for people that like Toad, people that want to play Paleozoics, because this killed a lot of like small other decks, like you know, like like you know, Paleozoic Frogs completely just gone, and I, I don't want to say completely gone, but for the most part, a lot of people aren't even incentivized to play it because. It like it's like it, it, yeah, it was a trap, more of a trap based deck, and that was the whole point of the strategy. But a a, a a part of what really made it like you know like what really made it stick was you know having the Toad engine to play the level twos and also to play the Toad. So I, I would like I, I would like them to bring this back to one to not not, not only give the Paleozoics again, but also to give Sprite a little bit of extra help. I know that they're gonna hit Sprite again on this upcoming list, so I guess I, I think it would be fair to bring back, you know, like to bring back at least one Rodent Toad to kind of like you know even it out a bit. Although maybe if you hit if you hit Charmance really good and then you hit Sprite a little bit and then bring them back Rodent Toad, they'll become the best deck. So yeah, th this is very much not like like a wish list. I'm not saying these cards are gonna come off the list. I'm just saying that I feel they can come off the list, you know. So r r so like this card here, Rodent Toad, I feel come back off the list to one. Prank kids, meow mew. A lot of people are probably like, like and again, a lot of people are going to disagree with me with this card, but I essentially just want this card to come back at one 
just to have another option. Like, you know, like, this is not, this is not like, oh, you know, I, you know, this combo, and I really want to play this deck. No, to be honest, I, I really don't play, I, I, I played Prank as once, I tried it, it was really cool, but it really wasn't my, my thing, I, you know, it, it really, I, I, I wasn't enjoying the play style, like, you know, I did, like, you could play in your opponent's turn and all that other stuff, but it, it, it just really wasn't for me. I, I just would like to see see what this deck could do. I, I just want this at one though, because if this is at more than one, then yeah, it does become a problem because you could do the setup with a butler where you have a whole, you know, Ricky just like butler for free over and over again. So I uh, I, I very much feel like this card shouldn't be at three. Like three might be a little too much because prank kids are good. I'm not gonna sit there and say they're not, but if this is at one. We could see the return of the prank kids adventure deck and that might be something interesting to mess around with this is just you know uh, this is mostly I, w I want to come back for experimentation like you know i i'm, I'm I, like th like just like that like i want to see how like i want to see how this deck could do now that we have more stronger decks in the meta you know so that that'd be kind of interesting right there the next card oh yeah yeah so then yeah, yeah i was right i mentioned the last two were going to be uh, at one so yeah the next card that i want to talk about is sega's light so these next three cards are on the Li limited list so these cards are already at one i'm gonna I, they're, they're gonna vary a little bit but i'm gonna go ahead and say i want sega's light just to come off the list in general like, like maybe i might be open to the floodgate to a little bit too much craziness maybe some people in the comments might want to you know tell me that there's some you know there's oh there's this combo that this and that you know to be honest i really am not worried about that i am just like when i first saw sega's light like you know it has a really big restriction doesn't let you draw any other i want draw it doesn't let you activate any other spell trap card so I, I guess like it could be used as a way just to draw two cards and you could set them and everything you know just like like trap stun but it isn't like trap stun's kind of doing all that kind of craziness anyway so i really feel that we could we could we, we could start to experiment by pulling seca's light off the list because I, I, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to sit there and say, you know, it's not going to do anything. Y yes, it it can do something. Something as e even as something as the super heavy sa samurai getting, you know, you know, getting a boost because of that, and they, they are getting support. So maybe that'd be cool to see it come off. But I, I would like to see Sega's like kind of come back. I do like these draw cards that have these weird, like you know, I like the draw cards that have like the different effects because certain decks could really benefit more from cards like this like you know for example you know in the in the deck that i'm running i was running a pot of uh, pot of prosperity for the longest and pot of prosperity was working for me but then i made one but then i made one like change kind of you know in the direction of the deck and it turned out and even though pot of prosperity technically you know would be was a better was like I, I, in my mind was a better card the card that actually worked better in practice was pot of desire even though i'm banishing cards in my deck and i kind of didn't want to do that just me, like, just me being able to keep my extra deck intact and not have to worry about that and not have to worry about, oh, I'm in this matchup, take this out, this matchup, take that matchup. It was, I was able to run Pot of Desire and in practice actually gain more advantage just by being able to draw the two random cards opposed to choosing the one card I needed. So, with, like, I guess with that logic, I would like to see seconds like, come back. Maybe even if it is just that two, kind of like what they did with Pot of Desire, if they're, if they, you know, if they don't want to just unleash it and let it go crazy but this is a card that i would like to see come off the list at i like to see it come off period but more realistically maybe it might be able to peel off at two to see what could happen with it selmanger gazelle two three i am a fan of uh, selmangrate i feel that selmangrate should be the deck that a lot of returning slash new players pick up to really understand how Yu Gi Oh works and to get a good idea of of how just deck building and meta works and be and able to actually get some wins and you know and actually not you know and not play you know just something like you know just you know like cyber dragon that could get you wins but for the most part everyone knows how to beat this right here people know people understand what it can do but since it could like you know since if you, if you learn all the different plays and stuff you, you could learn to get some really cool stuff so i really feel like salamander gazelle could come off the list to and it, it, it should come off the list of three even though i had one it's it's still really good like there's a time where i was playing salamangre like uh you know i was kind of leaning towards it being the deck that i was going to choose to run in this upcoming event but i i ended up you know, being away from salamangre I chose a different deck and uh I, I i just i just really like this i really like gazelle i've, I've, I've always liked gazelle i you know I've, I've always liked the whole idea of this deck 
that it had, you know, it, you know, it, it could like, you know, it could grind game, it could just regular monsters, it could link, it could X Y Z. It had a whole bunch of different plays. It had a whole bunch of different, just like it had a lot of different toolbox and utility that I really did like and appreciate. And I would like to see this card come back at three. Like I, I I'm. Because also, too, like, there's a lot of really good decks out there, and it's hard for Salad to keep up sometimes, especially when they lose their Gazelle, or maybe they can't find the Gazelle for some reason, even though there's a lot of search cards. I would like to see this back at 3, like I said, for a more newer and returning player to have something to play that's pretty good. And then the last card on the list is Dino Wrestler Paint. Paint of Tops. Maybe you do not agree. Maybe you feel like this is too broken. But in all honesty, we have Fenrir running around, and like, you know, Fenrir is, I guess, in some cases, like a better Pango Trap, some people say. And like, you know, if if, if that's really the case, and if Pink, you know, if there's a better Pink out there, then there's no reason why this Pink should just be right, you know, right, right here at 1. Like, we should have more access to these cards, especially for the budget players, because... The people that have money are going to want to run their Fenrirs. They're going to have their Fenrirs. They're going to have them available to do this and that. But the budget players are going to need something. You feel me? It, it's it's like, it, you know, you know, it's like, I, under, I understand you don't want every single player to have this in there. And that's why it's on there. And this is probably, it's, it's probably why I was struggling. I was going to put that number one. But then I was like, you know, what? I want this to be the last one. Because this is the one that I want to happen the most. I would like to, I would like them to take this off the list. Even though it might cause chaos because Imagine having three fenders and three panker tops and all this and all that. But you know what? Sometimes, you know, like, you just need to give other people the option. You know, like, people who don't, who aren't, or aren't going to be able to get their hands on that fender. They should be able to get their hands on the panker tops. It, it is common, and that's, I don't know. I, I guess that, that that's just, uh, I, this is me caring about the Yu-Gi-Oh! community. Wanted to see my boy... Pango Tops come back. I do have a lot. I have, I have a lot of. There's a lot of games that are really owed to Pango Tops. A lot of people can say the same thing. And I just feel that ha like 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 having them back in the meta, especially in a meta where you have the freaking um, where you have the cashier running around just, and you also you have, you. It's also increasingly harder with all these bigger boards. So like you know sometimes if you lose a die roll, you. If you don't have something to break, then you are just you know dead in the water. And Pango Tops is a really good card to have. So. Alright guys, that is going to be it. I'm, I'm going to stop here. If not, I'm going to start rant ranting on forever. Like I said, if you guys have any... If you, uh, oh yeah, also paint, guys. I think I said this before. I want to paint to come back to 3. I want paint to be at 3. If 3, leave it at 1. If not, it's fine. Um, yeah, if you guys if, if, if you guys have any, you know, if you guys have any ideas of, you know, any ideas. If you guys have any objections to, you know, some, you know, some of the cards that I said, which I know might be a couple of you. I know some of you might, might feel like a little different, especially maybe about... You know, Sekka's Light, or maybe Road and Tony might not want to have it off. But if you guys, you know, leave leave a comment down, leave your comments down below. I like I said, it's all good. I do not mind having the comments there, I like reading them, like you know, I like any feedback and understanding what you guys think. And yeah, that'll be it. Until the next one, peace out.